Hi guys, I wanted to share with you what I did on vacation and what I do yesterday and what I do a lot of evenings or mornings just to kind of wake up, stretch and feel really good. So we're going to meet in child's pose, toes together, knees out, the width of the mat. Reach your hands out forward and your sitting bones back, forehead down. Push your palms down, lift your elbows up, or more restorative, you can rest. Rolling around on your forehead feels good. Keep trying to stretch your fingers forward and your sitting bones back to your heels. Feel free to put your own music on here. I don't have any music going because um, I'm outside. I have less stuff today. So just put on something you like. Breathe into the back of your lungs, middle of your lungs. You can take your hands over to one side stretch into that side body see if you can reach those fingertips even further and the hip back and make your way to the other side really spreading the intercostal muscles breathing and inflating here and then come up halfway I'm just going to bring that arm underneath you and rest on your shoulder and your ear. If you'd like, you can do a half bind, reaching back towards the other thigh, opening up, pushing this hand down a little bit, making as much space as you can in the front of your body here. Nice heart opener. And change sides. sit back you can also do that in more of a um, puppy pose if you'd like to have your hips stay above your knees and be a little, a little higher so just kind of see which feels good for you and remember every day is a little different so maybe you want to come back here maybe you want to stay in your puppy pose and play around with that and then roll yourself up we're going to meet in our quadruped and do a couple of cat and cows curl your seat towards the sky look forward exhale round you can change the feet here you can bring your feet tuck them under as you round flatten as you go through and lift up to down dog Stance here with your feet, you can be a little bit closer, a little bit further, a little bit wider. Oh, this feels good from yesterday's calf exercises. You can spend a little bit more time on one heel down. Switch to the other. Try to have that nice straight arm expression scapula down your back back nice and straight and then just bend your knees and slowly walk towards your hands and just ragdoll your body forward you can hold on to opposite elbows try to straighten the back of your legs a little bit you might sway So you're really relaxing your torso here. Your legs are active. Your whole upper body is draping forward. 
And then release your arms, walk up to your shins, give me a beautiful flat back, scapula back, crown of your head forward, and rise. And fold it forward one more time. You can bring your hands behind you. A nice stretch for the wrists. You can bring your toes up to the wrists. And then you can try to straighten your legs a little bit. That's pretty, pretty deep stretch of the legs. But you do get a nice wrist stretch here. Even the shoulder blades are pulling apart. Really nice upper back stretch. And then again, we come up half lift. Core is engaged, scapula's back and rise. And again, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And roll it up slowly. Stretch it up and just take a hold of one wrist, stretch your side body. Try to push your foot down, both your feet, but specifically the one that you're pulling the arm over. So this foot pushes down, change sides, same thing, same hand size, push that uh, side, put that foot down. A little bit stronger and swan dive forward plant your hands come back to your plank position and knees come down bend your elbows come on down take your fingers out a little bit wider so kind of right underneath the elbows legs are relaxed and just lift up. Come down onto one ear. And lift up. Come down onto the other ear. Keep the elbows pointing up to the sky. Beautiful. Again, shoulders down, nice passive back stretch. And walk your hands in, meet me in down dog. And bring your right knee to your right hand. And we're going into pigeon. So just reach those toes back nice and long. And then just surrender your hips and your torso to the floor. You can make a little pillow with your fists. This back foot is nice and flat. And you're just sinking the seat down towards the floor. And breathing into that beautiful backside. Keep stretching your back toes a little further away. And then arms go straight, foot tucks under, knee lifts, back to down dog, switching sides. And you try to reach the toes back further before you surrender down with your torso. Flex this foot a little bit. Again, just try to breathe into that seat that's trying to go closer towards the floor. You can stretch those toes back a little bit further. And of course, you can stay in any of these poses a little bit longer. 
make your way up with the straight arms, curl your toes under, lift that knee back to down dog. And just walk your feet in and cross your legs and come on over and stretch your legs out nice and long. You move the sitting bones so that they are really grounded here. Flex the feet, beautiful crown of your head stretching to the sky, arms up and just try to reach that heart towards the feet. So you might not go very far before you feel your hamstrings. And then just bring your hands down and breathe. Maybe point the feet, that gets more into the top of the legs. Flex the feet, comes to the back of the legs. And maybe inch your body forward a little bit more. But again, I'm still trying to pull my heart forward as opposed to rounding yet. And maybe a little further. And once you're in a place where you feel good about that stretch in the back of your legs, you can take your hands down and relax your forehead. And again, you still might peel forward a smidge more, trying to fill up the back of the body here. Big, beautiful breaths. And walk it in slowly, come down onto your seat, hug your knees and just take those knees out to the side, flex your feet, you can reach for your hamstrings, your calves or your big toes and then try to flatten your back on the floor. might rock a little bit on your lower back. Take a stretch through one heel. The other heel. Maybe you want to do that together. And then bring those legs together, bend them in half. And we're just going to take those knees over to one side. You can take your arms out a little bit wider. You can take your arm on top of your thigh. Look over your opposite hand. Getting this really nice stretch here. You can also goal post your arm. Bend your arm so it's coming behind you. Now make your way back to the center and change sides. Again, you can add that hand. You can look over your opposite hand. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. You can go post that arm. gently unwind roll yourself up for a second and just lay on your side make a nice pillow for your head and just take that top foot towards your seat and just when we as we're standing we say push the hip forward you still want to do the same things here knees towards one another hips forward the knee is trying to go away from the hip flexor into that beautiful quad stretch. Hand pushes into the foot. Squeeze your seat. And then gently release. Make your way to the other side.
resisting your foot into the, your hand and your knee away from your hip. And squeeze the seat. And gently release. Make your way to a cross-legged position. Doesn't matter which way you're gonna cross, you're gonna change sides. And just bring your feet a little bit away from you and then lean forward. So some of you might be able to bring the elbows all the way down. Should be feeling that in your hip flexors, lower back, upper seat. And walk your hands in and then just cross in the other direction and again go a little bit further with the crossing of the feet and lean into it breathe into anything that's a little tight a little sticky giving you a little bit of feedback And walk your hands in. And you know, here you can do a little twist. You can twist over to one side. Try to twist from the base of the core as you exhale. And make your way to the other side. And maybe cross the legs in the other direction and do that one more time. Rotate. Other side. Again, it comes from the belly pulling up and in. And back to the center, arms up. And down through heart center. Namaste. I hope you got a good little stretch. You can feel free to just save this. Um, I'm probably going to put it on the YouTube channel, Joe Barr, as well. But you can save it on here and you can come back and do this every single day it's a really good little 15 minute we have 15 minutes i think of our day every day morning afternoon you can throw it in in the middle of the day whenever right before bed it's definitely not a um, flowy move it's more of an anxiety release stretching restorative little session so i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you back on the mat all right guys Thanks for joining me.